Hello everybody, today we're opening up the Hermitcraft TCG cards I got here. We got a cool game box starter deck, and uh, three booster boxes, and a special card at the end. Also in the box uh, from Creo, came this nice decal, and uh, a nice note from Luke himself. That just goes into the background of the Hermitcraft TCG, and uh, Luke's process there. Let me go ahead and take off all this plastic and we'll get started opening it. Alright, we're gonna start with the game box here. Pop the plastic on it. The plastic is very shiny. Uh, we got some information on the back. Contains 42 cards, some hermits listed that participated, and uh, the artists that also participated. And you can see at the bottom, uh, printed spring of 2023 finally arrived in the fall all right it's a very thick box here we got the uh, type dynamics nice there. Got some instructions. It tells you how to set up uh, your deck, start in the game, and how to play. Two sided. It tells you about how to attack, strengths and weaknesses, which is chart here. Status effects, win conditions. Alright, take a look at that in a bit. Got a game mat that came with it as well. Cardboard uh, monopoly board here. This is large. Let's see if it can fit on camera yeah, here. Almost. We hit four rows out of the five. Move uh, some stuff out of the way, get it some up. With that moved out of the way, we've got the rest of the box to go through here. We've got some nice shiny status indicators, a dry erase marker that goes along with these health cards. Dry erase health cards, so you can write your hermit's health on there. Get that to more of that in a bit. And we've got a coin. Get it closer to the camera there. Nice shiny coin, it's got a nice texture on it. Both sides had some tails. Hermitcraft TCG logo. It's very, uh, very weighted. Thick. Got the main event cards here. Nice art on the box of the Craft TCG shop that was made by Vintage Beef in Craft Season 9. Both sides. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in the box for now and then we'll get to the cards. Alright, here we are with the plastic off of that one. Let's see, it contains 42 cards in the starter deck. Hey guys! Got finished beef right on top. It looks like this is probably a balanced deck. I don't want to take too much of a spoiler on it. Let's go through card by card here. Finished beef with Hey Guys and Minecraft. Come Fan 135. Hey yo! Fix Magic. Hey Skull. Got Rindog with uh, also his Hermitcraft Season 9 base in the back there. Industrial District, Gigacord. Tinfoil Chef. An XB Crafted. 
underwater. Oh yeah. Not a balanced item. My items are pretty boring unless they're the times two, so. Let's kind of skip through here. Items included in this deck. Nice scale art on there, though. Sword, is that the PvP type? I haven't taken a look at the rules yet. I know they changed some of the type names and stuff for this uh, print so they didn't uh, you know, plagiarize Minecraft or invoke copyright issues with that. Quite a few of those items as well. And then mining, grinding, whatever that type is. Let's see. Some items of that type as well. No times two is included here. Got a TNT effect card. Single use. A milk bucket done up like an actual milk bucket versus the Minecraft normal art. So it's single use and attach. Okay. Golden armor. Prevent up to 10 HP damage taken. Got a weak healing potion. Got an elven cookie. Scars, Ellen, Cookie. I guess to replace the chorus root that was original card. Got a Book of Thorns. Pretty cool art on that one with the thorns coming out of the book there. Got a Diamond Sword. I like how the diamond's kind of fracturing. And the rare tinfoil chef card. Top that off. Pull that on that one. Very right, cool. So he's just uh, chilling by the campfire. Ooh, and then a uh, Royal Wells Knight full art. Great card as well. Got the Knight's Blade and Vengeance Tax. Very cool, all done up in his armor there. Alright, so that's what comes in the starter deck at least. Quite a few items, two rare cards, a few effects, and a bunch of commons. Don't know how effective this deck would be by itself, but uh, I've got three booster packs as well to go through. So we'll see if we can make a better deck by the end of this. Moved out of the way, got my rears and protector sleeves, and just want to take another look at these health cards to see how well this uh, dry erase stuff works here. You can see both sides here. So, same on all the cards here, same back side. See, it's kind of a little bit textured, but those the boxes on there kind of raised up a little bit. All these cards are actually very like very thick cards. Probably, I would say thicker than a normal Pokemon card. Let's see if I can see that there. It's uh, quite sturdy. Silly cards. Let's see how well the dry race works on the south card though. Let's see so. Wells Knight, we've got 280, right? And then if he takes damage, I erase that. It erases really well, actually. Very good texture. We're gonna have the dry erase. I'm looking forward to using that in a real match. Move this out of the way, and we'll move on to uh, opening one of the booster boxes, which I know you guys are more excited about. Than a normal starter deck. I know these are pretty 
typical if you've seen anybody else unboxing starter decks you've probably seen the same deck exactly there we go i got my three booster boxes out of the plastic here and i just want to say this cardboard is so thick these are so well packaged i'm almost tempted to keep these boxes to store the cards in it's just so these are probably thicker than like the cardboard used on a pokemon elite trainer box and uh, you can see on the back side they got pretty much the same thing that the starter pack had for the game box this all the hermits and the artists and it was printed and it contains 54 cards here eight booster packs i'm gonna open each one of these and kind of sort them you know there's uh, hermit packs item packs Booster, booster packs. I'm just gonna kind of stack those all up here. Alright, there we go, in each booster box, we get uh, some booster packs, effect packs, hermit packs, and item packs, you get two of each in each booster box, and booster packs are kind of like a mix of all the rest, um, I'm not sure if this is true for this one, but I believe you can get like, more rares in the booster packs than the rest, these are kind of like predetermined how many rares can come in them. I think we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, the effect packs. That's what I'm most interested in. We'll do the item packs last. That's the least exciting. Start with the effect pack here. I want to say again how like how thick the packaging is on this stuff. Very thick packaging. It's like the packaging is probably thicker than the cards themselves. You know? You know, it's like, uh, been as easy as a Pokemon pack. But the uh, cards are so thick it doesn't look like they take any damage from trying to open that pack, even if you mess it up. Here we go, we got a bow. Got an iron sword. Golden armor again. Got one of those in the starter deck. Shield. Let's see if we can get closer to the camera here. Shield. Another milk bucket. Got weed. And diamond armor. Diamond armor is pretty nice. I love the diamond effect on this art. Pull the dash. Did a pretty good job on this. And we've got a clock. He did blow his favorite. Moving her along. Book of Binding. Book with a lock on it. Book of Vanishing. Vanishing right before your eyes. Another golden armor. Another lead. Composter. That's a very handy one to have in your deck here. Recycle your cards, basically. Blend and Steel. Same thing as the Composter, pretty much. Strong healing potion. Heal active for 60 HP. I don't remember how much the weak one was. Splash poison potion. Get to make use of those uh, poison indicators, those green 
cubes that came in its third day. We've got a splash healing potion. I just realized I have some of the cherry race marker on my hand. Hopefully that's not rubbing off on anything. I don't think it is. Splash healing potion. A weak healing potion. Oh, there we go. This one here is 30, whereas the other one was 60. And splash is 20. Another milk bucket. Got another flint and steel. Those are pretty handy to have, so I don't mind having more. Elven cookie again. Another lead. Another strong healing potion. Another plot. Splash potion. Splash poison potion. Shield. Got another composter. Like in the composter, you see like little cards mixed in with the veggies. Got an emerald. And got a totem of revival. Looks like a, an axolotl. Yeah, I chose the names of these to uh, avoid copyright with the Minecraft items. I like they're just similar enough. I know what they are still, but just different enough that they won't you know, have copyright conflict. Okay. Well, we got two more effect packs here. Book of Binding. There we go, water bucket. Heal burn. Or prevent burn. Got another iron armor. Another shield. Got so many shields now. Another composter. These are good though. I don't mind having more of these like the flint steels. <laughs> Speaking of which, got another flint steel. And a book of looting. coins next to the book here. And magnetite armor. Totally not netherite. Pretty cool art on that one. Again though, Pillow Dash does his armor art very well. Like you can see the, the lava coming through the armor there. Alright, here's our last effect box. Healing Potion, a Book of Binding, another TNT, another Bow, Sword, and the Golden Armor. We're getting a lot of duplicates at this point. I know there's only so many effect cards to be had, so bound to get duplicates. We've got a Wolf though. It takes 20 HP damage after their attack, ignores armor. Cool. Wolves on there. There's two wolves inside of each of us, just so you know. We got a diamond armor. Alright. That's it for the effect packs, but I know there's more effects included in the booster packs here. In fact, I think I'm going to save the booster packs for last, because the armor packs are the most interesting item packs, you're just really looking for the times too. Booster packs can really have anything in them, so they're kind of a little bit more exciting. I'll save those for the end then. Let's do the hermit packs next. I 
like the hermit cards are probably what everybody wants the most. You know, gotta have the art of your favorite creators. Like Tango Tech. It's got the Thingificator and Hattrick. Evil Eyes. You can see uh, his background artist and building that Netherite Hub for Season 9. Got another Tinfoil Chef. Laughing in a cave. He's always in a cave. Rest in peace. Yeah, there's Joe Hills. It's uh, Starry Art, I guess, as a reference to his, his Deep Field uh, pinball machine. He's like reading poetry. Corrales. He's got uh, his. Uh, what do you call it? His DJ, his uh, his club at his base. Spinning a disc on his finger. Combo Jumbo. Looking chuffed to bits. He's got some decrepit workshop there. Ooh, and then Foil XB Crafted. Very nice. Got paired in there. Noise, as he would say. Let's uh, put that off protector right away. Good times with Scar. Got jelly on his back. Very, uh, it looks very buff in this picture. Cool. Green, very uh, interesting elytra. Got B double O, that is a moss cape and horse. Got stress monster, their favorite flowers. Stress, come back to the server. We need you. Another Tango Tech. Ooh, and Tango Tech Rare. This one, uh, not foil though. Still pretty cool. He's in his uh, Dungeon Master decked out 2 outfit. If with even the keys on his hip there. Very cool. I'm gonna put that in a bright touch group anyway. <laughs> You don't want the edges to get ruined on your full art cards. Got a Gemini Tay. Puppy. That reference to her, her own puppy, I believe. be crafted. Guardian starter deck. Got a zoom avoid. And in his mountains. I guess as a reference to his uh, mountain base he had in the season. Relescent moon with uh, her shop in the background. The shopping district season nine. And that, their red hoodie as well. Hypnotized. Let's see. Bandana on his head. Not sure what the background is supposed to be though. Just in a wheat field. Mumbo Jumbo pull art. Got his season 9 base in the background there. Hoard your diamonds. Very nice foil there. Again, yeah, the goes directly in a projector. Doing pretty good so far. I'm not getting uh, duplicates, at least no means. Another 
stress monster. Tango attack. Tank foil chef. Another prelates and moon. With the dragon egg, I guess, in her hand. I'm curious. I don't watch enough hypno, hypno so I'm not sure uh, background is referenced to on that one. I'm curious to find out that. Rare good times of Scar, full art, with of course, Scarland. And jelly on his, <laughs> on his uh, shoulder. Yeah. Very cool. I guess he got Scar on his face, reference to being Scar. Got that smug look on his skin, captured perfectly in this art, I think. Symmetry common. This one I saw uh, Joe Hill's post recently where they said there is a, a mistake that they're correct on this. So this is now rare. <laughs> First edition full symmetry card. XP crafted. Zoom and void. Another Corralis. Mumbo Jumbo. Right. And a rare false symmetry. There we go. Also a foil. Got her like uh, steampunk look going on there with the wings. Alright, here we go. Class turn. Common Cub Fan, Common Zombie Cleo, Zombie Cleo, yeah that's her, or that's the uh, Diamond Diamond Pillar Wars, the quest, King's Quest, uh, reward area in the background of that one. Another Rindog, Mumbo Jumbo, Listen, moon and hey, rare stress. Stress is quite rare. Come back to this, to the reverse stress. Pretty cool. Doing pretty well on the foil cards there. A lot of different ones, no duplicates really in the rares. Doing the item packs, and we'll do the booster packs last. Item packs should go pretty quick because we're pretty much just looking for times to use. <laughs> and I don't even know the names of the types, I should have looked the instructions again. But, uh, builder, maybe? PvP probably. Speedrunner for sure. And there's a times two. This is the PvP one. I'll kinda mix these up. I just like times twos up there. Speedrunner. It's gonna be a um, terraformer. Balanced force. That one's obvious. Not sure without it. Builder. Times two building. Gotta figure out what these types are.
I'm looking at the instructions to see if there's any reference to all the type names. It does mention a couple, like builder type B-dubs, balance type, terraform type. And I just didn't play the act the uh, in-game or online. Hermitcraft TCG enough to memorize all what all types exist. So it's interesting that they don't really call it out there. They don't really call it out on the uh, type chart either. Like prankster. Not really sure what they're all supposed to represent. Offhand. I'll just say, uh, times two hammer. How about that? We'll figure it out later. Mm -hmm. Hey, prankster. French, French type. <laughs> Spyglass type. Is that the terraformer probably? Screen. Times two of that. Minor, probably. Big X. Brinkster. A wrench. Oh, a red redstoner, right? But you can't have redstone because that's a Minecraft copyright. Speedrunner. And times two redstone. Or as you say, technical, technical Minecrafter. Spyglass, Terraformer, I'm guessing, Miner, Prankster, and times two the balanced. Done pretty good on not getting duplicates of the item cards as well. Try and get one of everything. Last item back here. Miner, prankster, shovel, balanced, and times two prankster. Let's take a look at our times twos. Did I get a one of each? Take a look at this. Up here. Better. So we got a prankster, we got a balance, we got a redstoner, terraformer, hammer thing, PvP. You just not get a I think it's speedrunner. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and I had six to start with because two come in each of those booster boxes. I'm missing four. Definitely gonna need to do uh, buy some of the second run. Once I finish those off with the booster packs here, save for last. Hey, I Jevin. I don't think I got one of those in the hermit packs. That's good. Pulse SV, mining in the, the desert, and weed as effects, and a composter effect, pretty nice, and prankster item, stunner item, 
times two minor, and a times two prankster. Let's see, times two here, times two, does that already get a prankster? Did I already get a minor as well? Nope, that's good. Two pranksters, but at least got a minor I didn't have before. And trying to just collect one of everything. Spying on the hermits and uh, being a cow. A cow pen. I love that art. Very funny. Should be a prankster type if that would start for it. <laughs> Zombie Cleo again. Weak healing potion. Book of Binding. Get another terraformer item. There. A minor item. Splash poison potion and a times two shovel. Do we have a shovel? Yep, pretty good. Alright, so I've just got two more times two items. Doing pretty good on finding non duplicate comments as well. Another iron sword, red stainer item, another bubble. I'm gonna figure out what the actual name of these types are. Splash poison potion again, and a crossbow. Didn't have a crossbow yet. That's good. Seven. So he's in a hollow goat there. Okay. He looks kind of uh, evil. <laughs> Not evil after. Hey, Ethos Lab. It's typically like a Kakashi outfit, of course. It's like a blurry, snowy background. Blood and steel. Cookie again, another prankster item, PvP item, another strong healing potion, and a hypnotized rare. Nice. Holding that trident, the mushroom fields there. Mm -hmm. And a protector with the rest of the rares. Alright, last booster pack here. Beef, creator of all this. Got a shield, health bucket, hammer, <laughs> PvP, mm -hmm. another crossbow, another block. 
pretty good. Not sure if I managed to get one of everything, but pretty close to it. It was pretty nice to see the variety in the packs. Like a lot of times when you open up uh, Pokemon TCG or other boxes, you get a lot of like the same cards over and over. So it's nice to see a, a nice variety, even though there's not a whole lot of cards to to, uh, to find in this Hermitcraft TCG so far. All right. So last but not least, we got our special card here, number 64 out of 500. This one comes in that uh, case. A signed ZF card. Ooh. So shiny though. Lights reflecting too much on it. Get it out of the box here. Let's see if we can. This one might be better to look at without the light. Yeah, it's so reflective because of the case they put on it. Signs that out. Got his, uh, his base there, dangling cows. Should be upside down, actually. Pretty cool. Alright. Pretty nice all overall. Mm -hmm. Got quite a few foils. Quite a few different rares, and get a lot of duplicates of those, which is very nice. I know there's a, another run of these Hermitcraft TCG cards that was recently announced on uh, Joe Hill's community post, and I'll probably definitely be getting at least a couple more booster boxes so we, we can try and finish off this collection. That's going to be sometime later next year. They said they're not even printing it out until. Uh, it's like December 15th, January 15th was the pre-order dates, and then they're probably not going to actually ship it, uh, if this was any indication for a few months after that. So, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.